Hello guys and girls and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by DevTut. In this video tutorial I'll be starting a new project on making a level in UDK. Now, um, I carried exactly on from my last tutorial so forget that it was even there. Right, so if we go up to the top left hand corner and click on the little new file, it'll come up with a little dialog box. If you've got anything open, yeah, whatever. Hmm, it doesn't even ask anymore, hold on. Oh, okay. If you're in a later version, it might come up with um, a little text box saying whether you've got an additive or a subtractive level. Now, use additive, it's so much easier. Um, I've tried using subtractive, and it's just so confusing and boring and difficult. So, I think this is this should be additive by default, and it is. So additive by default if you're in a later version and it doesn't even ask you. So um, in this video, to, in this tutorial, we're going to be making a sort of like an outer side level to an inner side level. It's going to be a building with two levels and a little bit of an outside to it. So if we start off in the top view, oh, what's that? Just go down here. If you're in a two by two options, just show groups. Where is it? I had it in the viewport type. No, I had it in the. Oh no, no, I can't remember. Hold on. Hmm. Viewport configuration. There it is. So. Oh. So that. There, there you go. It's back to how it should be. Okay, so working in the top view, we're going to be creating a square brush. If we right click on the brush, that's on the cube brush button, it will come up with the builder brush properties. Now, by default, it's 256 UDK units. Um, it's a power of three, so it's a square that's 256 units. And we are going to want this to be 1024 by 1024 by 32. So that's going to create a sort of floor like thing. Just drag that up one and hit build. And then go up to the top here and look at the top view. Make sure it's centered on these sort of darker grey lines, I like all my stuff in the centre, I'm not sure about you, but it's easier. So just hit Control A or um, CSG Add button over here, you can get rid of that now. You can see that we have a floor. To navigate this perspective viewport, right click anywhere in the perspective viewport and use your mouse to move around, to, as sort of like the camera, and the WASD keys or the arrow keys to move back and forth. If it's too sensitive for you and it moves too fast, then you should mouse wheel and bring it towards you to slow it down. As you can see, I slowed right down and speeded right up. So if you just slow that down, to about there, it's not bad, right? So this is going to be the basis for one of the rooms in our thing. So if you want to add an actor, right click anywhere, add actor, add light. So drag that up, drag that into the centre, just so you sort of get a little bit of light. And then go up to the top here and hit build lighting. And just untick the use light mask box, as this is just a real quick sort of thing. Right click anywhere and hit play level. And we have our first playable level. It's not really, well it's playable, it's move aboutable, fireable, laserable and it's jumpable. But it's not really playable as such. You haven't really got an objective. You haven't got anything to kill, destroy, or blow up, or anything like that. And you haven't got any legs either. I know that's sort of normal for an FPS game. Don't have any legs. I think that's wrong. Anyway, that's that's something completely different. Legs. Ha. Right. So now we're gonna wanna click on the red builder brush, move that out of the way, and get hold of this and delete it. 
that was just so we can sort of make an easy little level. So, now we're going to move into the top perspective view and we're going to zoom right out and we're going to create something that is twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight and is thirty two. Build it, get rid of it. CSG add. Right. Now we've got a very basic floor again. We've got the right size this time. So now we're gonna go back into the builder brush, we're gonna create four outer walls. Now to do this we're going to go to the Z property first and change it to 256 and we're also going to go to the um, let's say which one's X and which I don't, can never remember which one's X and which one's Y in this program I think X is red so if we're going to create let me just change it to 32 so we get a wall for this there and come out of the full screen and go into one of the sides and go just rest it on top and hit control A and now we can move back over to the just move that out of the way, full screen move that all the way down here do the same, control A or the CHG add button over here now we're going to want to rotate this, so if you just grab that value, control C, hit control V and change that to 32, hit enter. And as you can see it's not it's going to overlay and create a little box. We don't want any intersecting brushes. Because it's bad. It is bad in geometry. So I'm not much of a mathematician. Mm. And Sorry about that. Somebody popular today. Right. Now, I'm not much of a mathematician. I can't be asked to work it out. So I want to get the computer to do it for me. So by pressing and holding the middle mouse button on the far side and dragging it all the way down, it brings out a ruler or a sort of measurement tool. And in the middle, you can see the number of units it is moved. That line is sort of hovering over. So as you can see it's 1984, so if we changed that value to 1984, hit enter, you see that that will fit exactly in there now. And then we can hit control A and move that over to the right hand side. And hit control A. Now um if we go back into this view and in the perspective view just hit unlit because I don't want to see anything. Uh, so just you can see we've still got like a little bit of a floor layer where our old bit of geometry was. So to get rid of that we go up to the top here and hit this button build geometry for visible level that's labeled. So if you just hit that it'll build the geometry and it'll come up with normally two errors it should come up two errors for you because you haven't added any lights but it will basically say parts need to be rebuilt so AI can navigate its way around the level you should have a kill, you should have a kill zone set you should also um, rebuild the lighting but I'm not going to bother with any of that because I'm hard and I'm a rebel right so that's our basic room now I'm going to end this tutorial here as you can see we've got a little basic room not much interesting um, I'm going to end this tutorial here and we'll carry on by adding the inner walls and the extra layer on top. So um, thank you for watching and don't forget to do the rate, comment and subscribe and I uh, really appreciate your thumbs up and all your ratings and your comments and your subscribing. So uh, thank you very much and hopefully we'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.